Hi there, my name is Josh, and I want to show you how to apply a texture to a curved surface in SketchUp, specifically using the projected option that we have in SketchUp. So I've got this JPEG image file here of the SketchUp logo, and I want to toss that on this shade fabric here. Uh, the first thing I want to do is go to the Select tool to get down into the correct context. So I'm going to double click on this and cruise down here, click on that surface, and you can see now I have selected the more complex curved surface here. If I go to view hidden geometry I can see the polygon breakdown of that. Uh, if I now try to import the image file here you can see why it's going to be a little bit troublesome. File, import, look for that JPEG image file there. Making sure that use as texture is selected here. That's important. Import. You can see that SketchUp's going to try to constrain this application of the texture onto a single tiny polygon. And you can certainly do that, it just might take you a little bit longer to position it properly, so there is a better way. And you can see if I sample this, turn off hidden geometry, and apply it, that's not quite what we're looking for. So the way to get around this is to create what I call control geometry. So I'm going to create a rectangle that's floating above this complex curved surface, and this rectangle will be a good place for me to import that logo image file and manipulate it on the simple flat surface which I can then project below on the more complex surface. So I'm going to go to File Import, find that image file again, import that. I'm not too worried about the size right now because once I initially apply it I can right click go to texture position, right click once more, rotate 90 and let's try that right there, right click done. Now if I sample this and try to apply it below you'll notice that this actually is still not the right way to do it. At this point SketchUp kind of throws up all over the place, we've got pieces of, of texture everywhere and, and that's not what we're looking for. Uh, so the important step here is to right click Go to Texture Projected. Now nothing will change when I choose this on this image on the control geometry, but it actually is quite different. So Texture Projected. I'll right click once more to just show you that there's a check mark there. So now when I sample this and apply it below, it's going to project that texture a little more uh, like what I'm, I'm looking for. And of course it's a little bit cut off there and there, so what's nice about this process is I can manipulate the texture on the control geometry like this. So I can right click, texture, position, scale that down just a little bit, scoot it over, that might work. Right click, done. I'm using the keyboard modifier here, so with the paint bucket tool, command on the Mac is sample material. Uh, for the Windows version of SketchUp, it'll be the Alt key. So command, sample, and apply, and you can see it it's adjusted based on this reference or control geometry. So I no longer need that. And, and the way that I think about this is, is SketchUp is kind of casting this texture almost like a light on the geometry. So I can get rid of this now, I don't need that. And that looks pretty good. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.